Hey guys, I can't tell you how excited I am. If I'm talking a bit fast, I apologize, but we have been planning for what's about to happen for a year, if not more. Um, we've been getting the car set up, the van ready. So this is gonna be a month long trip. We're doing Great Ocean Road, uh, four weeks starting off at Murray Bridge, then going to Beachport, meeting up with a bunch of the Y62 patrol forum there, uh, heading on to Warrnambool, I oh know Mount Gambier, then Warrnambool, Geelong, back through the Grampians. Uh, it's gonna be such a cool trip. Let me show you some of the checks I go through before a big trip like this. I'll turn the camera around. So first up, there's heaps to do and I recommend if you're going to do a big trip, you should do this, um, uh, do a proper check of the whole rig, make sure you're legal, everything's right, um, straight up. So I started off by um, looking at the airbag. So I've got little airbag valves down here on either side of my bar. So I pumped them up. Went around and checked the tyres. I've taken the 35s off for this trip because I needed weight reduction. Um, running the stocky 33s. Checked tyres on the van. Checked every door and everything that opens and shut. Gas is off. We're just about to leave. But before I hooked up, and shout out to, I think it was Sam Taylor for this one, there's a big myself a little diagram that goes through the whole car. And I've weighed it, I've measured it, I've got the height. Um, I'll put a better little, um, um, way of saying this. Set off, you want to sit back and have a good look at the van too. Is the van sitting level front to back? Is the car sitting level? I'm really happy with how um, this rig's all worked out. Um, so you do a series of measurements. So that's from the top of the rim uh, to the top of the guard, front, back, and then before you make any adjustments. So I did the first one, and I'll just talk about the back, because that's probably the most interesting point. Um, I got 332 millimeters um, from top of rim to top of guard at the back. Then I pumped the airbags up and it went to 344 millimeters. So that's how I got the extra lift there on 30 PSI. And then I went back to uh, after I hitched the van on and measured it at the back and it was 326. So what's that? Six mil. I've dropped six mil at the back from what it was unhitched. That's kind of unheard of, and it just shows when you get the suspension set up correctly, uh, you get a very level rig, and uh, I, I'm sure this is gonna cause some arguments. I really don't feel I need a weight distribution hitch. It tows dead straight at any speed. It doesn't sway, the car's level. I just don't see the need if you've got everything set right in the car. Other things I'm checking are all the shackles, making sure they're rated. These are the big ones rated for three or four tonne each, not the smaller ones. And whatever you do, you don't want one of these. The only thing I use that for is for the breakaway hitch. So as soon as you go over two tonne, you need a, a breakaway hitch. Um, there's a lot of cables going on here, so I'll explain what they're all for. This is um, the camera cable for the back of the camera. It goes up and you can see the front of the car there on the windscreen mirror. That's where the camera comes out. Um, then we've got a, a dedicated Anderson plug 6 gauge going directly to the battery. Then another Anderson plug clipping in here that's running the fridge at the moment. So that means my fridge is running with uh, two batteries in the van and another two in the car um, all hitched up. Um, ideally, I would have crossed these chains over, but because the car's so high, I've got to use this special hitch so I can't cross them, but if you can do that, you should. So if it does come adrift uh, and the coupling comes off, it'll fall in the, the cradle of the chains being crossed. We went and weighed everything as well. And like I said, you should do this to see what the whole, anytime you change the configuration of your rig, whether it be the van, the car, the suspension, or take things on and off, you should really go and weigh everything before you head out on a big trip. Because uh, if you get pulled over, you want to know what you should be doing. So I weighed the car in the front axle, came in at, uh, I can't remember. I'll put a little thing up that says what that came in at. Um, the whole car, including passengers, will end up being 3.66 tonne. Now you astute people will know that the GVM on a Y62 is 3.5 tonne, but I've gone and done a GVM upgrade, so I can go to 368, so I'm under by 20 kilos. And then I weighed the van and that was pretty good. Towable weight was 230. Uh, if you get to 250 with these vehicles, you've got to take that off your tow capacity. But the, the 
total ATM of the van is three ton and we came in at 2.8 and we're fully loaded, full tanks, full gas bottles, full of food, clothes, everything. So we've got no worries with this trip. It means we're gonna be nice and sound.